hey guys so uh, today i will talk about the force analysis on a porter governor um i will not be doing this on the whiteboard i will be taking images from textbooks to save time so that um, i can make you guys understand the concept easily and the figures are a bit uh, tedious and complicated so drawing it on a whiteboard is going to take time so i just uh, took pictures from a textbook and uh, i'm going to explain that to you guys so yeah let's get started okay guys uh, this is a schematic or line diagram of a porter governor it is similar to a watt governor but there is a heavy mass on the sleeve here bc is the sleeve and uh, if we come to the force analysis uh, to the right side here which is figure b uh you can see that the instantaneous center oa of uh point a that is oa it is here and ob is here so the instantaneous center of rotation is at i here so and uh the mass of this uh, uh heavy object that is placed on the sleeve bc is going to be capital m and uh, mass of each ball is going to be small m so there is frictional force attached uh, with the heavy mass that is placed on the sleeve so that we are going to call it as small f or force of friction at the sleeve and uh, we will consider only one side of the porter governor so the frictional force we have written it as uh, mg the total force that is we have written it as mg plus or minus f by 2 uh, i'll explain why it is uh, written so mg plus or minus f by 2 it is written because uh, we have taken only one side of it so it get it gets halved so it is by 2 and uh, what is this mg plus or minus f uh, let us assume that uh, the sleeve is moving upward so the force of friction will act in a direction which is opposite to the motion of the sleeve so if this uh, sleeve bc is moving in the upward direction the force force of friction will act in the downward direction so that time and the mass of the sleeve will also act in the downward direction so that time you have to take it as mg plus f that is shown here that is mg plus f and when the sleeve is uh, sliding in the downward direction the force of friction will act in the upward direction so that time it will oppose the uh, weight of the sleeve so sleeve will be acting in the downward direction mass of the sleeve so mg minus of f that is what is written here that is the force acting upwards or downwards so you have to you write it together as plus or minus f only in the problem when they uh, define or uh, state the moment of the sleeve you take uh, the signs accordingly okay that is mg plus or minus f by 2 that is at the point b and uh, uh next is this theta theta is the angle which is made by the arms with respect to the spindle axis that is theta and beta is made by the lower arm uh with respect to the axis of the uh, vertical axis from the uh, masses uh, from the uh, governor balls okay and uh, the weight of the governor balls is given by uh, the mass of the governor balls into the gravitational constant that is 9.81 um and what is yeah and uh, c is the distance from i to a i to point a is the distance is c and uh, from b to uh, point a is distance is b and uh, b to point i is c plus b the another one is the centrifugal force because this is a centrifugal governor when the governor rotates there's a centrifugal force which uh, acts at point a that is equal to m r omega square and uh, this is the h is the height of the governor and a is the uh, sleeve movement the distance the sleeve can move that is a uh, all right all right guys now let's uh, get into the analysis uh, so we know that this is the instantaneous center uh, so if we come here considering the equilibrium of left hand ha left hand half of the governor and taking moments about i you take moments about i and uh, now the centrifugal force about i is mr omega square into the distance that is this distance a mr omega square from i it is at the distance of a so you write mr omega square into a 
is equal to so this side it's done now which it should be equal to this side so you should write uh, one is the mg that is mass of the uh, governor balls uh, sorry weight of the governor balls mg and it is at a distance of c from uh, the i center so you write that mg into c so one is accounted for um, which is equal to this one and there is one more which is at a distance c plus b that is the sleeve so you write as mg plus or minus f by 2 because by 2 is because we have taken only one half of the governor and it is at a distance of c plus b from the governor you can see here that it is at a distance of c plus b from the governor so c plus b so we have accounted um, the centrifugal force mr omega square it is at a distance of a from the uh, instantaneous center so that will be equal to we have written the vertical moment on the left hand side and now we have to write the horizontal moments that is m into g which is at a distance of c and uh, uh, m capital m into g plus or minus f by 2 uh, which is at a distance of c plus b now what you do now this a you bring it to uh, the left hand uh, the, to the right hand side so it becomes mg into c by a plus uh, mg plus or minus f by 2 into you multiply a to both c and b so you get c by a plus b by a so now if you see here c by a this is a c by a is nothing but tan theta that is what we have written here mass of the governor balls into gravitational constant into c by a is nothing but tan theta and here we know c by a is again tan theta plus b by a b by a this is b and this is again a so this is nothing but there is this angle beta so we have uh, we can write it as tan beta tan of angle beta so that is it um, so mr omega square that is the centrifugal force is equal to mg into tan theta plus uh, capital m that is mass of the sleeve or the weight on the sleeve into plus or minus f that is a frictional force divided by 2 into tan theta plus tan beta so in the next one um, so uh, now here it is mr omega square remove tan theta as common so from here from here from here you remove tan theta as common so if you remove tan theta as common from here tan theta comes outside tan theta into mg plus mg plus or minus f by 2 and again tan theta is common here but there is no tan theta here so if you want to remove it as a common factor you have to divide it by uh, tan theta here too so that is what uh, we have done here uh, and uh, you can see that uh, here we have uh, removed tan theta as common factor plus mg plus mg plus or minus by 2 into uh, we have written it as 1 plus k k is nothing but tan beta by tan theta so you can uh, replace that tan beta with a, a constant uh, that is k tan beta by tan theta but we know that uh, if we come to the the previous diagram here we know that tan theta here also there is a tan theta here also there is tan theta so this tan theta is r r is the radius uh, from the uh, spindle axis the governor uh, radius from the spindle axis the ball radius so from here a to here is r the center so from this to this is r so here also we can see that this angle this arm makes uh, angle theta with the spindle axis so tan theta is r by h so you can replace tan theta as r by h and uh, yeah that's what uh, yeah tan theta is r by h and we have mg plus the same thing the it is as above and we had mr omega square here right that is the centrifugal force so you bring um, and r and r on the left hand side th they both get cancelled so we are left with m omega square and uh, bring that m to the right hand side so it comes to the denominator so you have m 1 by m into h uh, and you take the lcm here so it get it becomes 2 times mg plus the whole thing divided by 2 now we know that omega that is uh, angular velocity is 2 pi n by 60 so you substitute that formula for omega here and uh, you multiply on the right hand side you multiply the numerator and denominator by g you just multiply it by g and uh, yeah that's it uh, so if if you want the speed that is the uh, 
speed of the uh, speed with which the dorner must rotate so you bring 60 square to this side and 2 pi square down so if you and if you substitute for gs 9.81 here you'll get 895 by h uh, into the whole thing that is same as it is so this is the formula for uh, the uh, what do you say the speed of the governor okay and the force analysis mr omega square is this formula so mr if you write mr omega square on the left hand side here you'll get tan theta plus mg into mg plus or minus f by 2 into 1 plus k where 1 plus where k is nothing but tan beta by tan theta so if you multiply tan theta here uh, with everything here you'll come back to the uh, previous expression here so that is here that is this, this expression here they have just removed tan theta common factor from this expression and we end up with this uh, expression here this is equal to mr omega square that is the force analysis that is the centrifugal force so this is a important formula in uh, porter governor um, we use this formula in many of the problems uh, uh, yeah that's it guys um, if you have any doubts or questions do let me know in the comment section below and if you want you can read this text here uh, read this uh, explanation here uh, and there are a few constant where there are a few conditions where k equal to 1 f is equal to 0 and k equal to 1 and f equal to 0 you will not be needing this uh, only in problems if they specify you can use these formulas directly otherwise you will not be needing this uh, yeah guys uh, thank you